YouTube. It's getting out here. Uh, today, day after Christmas, this is 20, 000, or 2014, and uh, Santa Claus was good to me. I uh, got some Freedom Munitions uh, ammo for Christmas, and I'm going to be heading to the range today to try some of it out. Uh, got a sample of the 124 grain XTP. This is the Reman, 50 rounds, uh, to try in 9mm, and then I got 500 rounds of the round nose 124 grain um, with new brass in 9 millimeter so I've got those to try in 9 and 40 I got a box of the XTPs uh, with new brass 180 grain XTPs uh, and then I got uh, 250 rounds of the 180 grain uh, round nose to try out in 40 and in 380 just got one box of the 90 grain XTPs uh, with new brass to try out so today at the range, I'm probably just going to round to trying out the 9mm. Um, taking three nines with me today, I think. And also uh, taking a 22 with me. Because uh, in addition to the ammo, I got the uh, shooting crony. So I can do some velocity checks to work out great since I got the ammo to try. Uh, but since I've never used it before, I think I'll take the 22 today to, uh, to try it out. And I also got uh, plenty of targets. And uh, looking forward to a good day day at the range. Well, here today is uh, Freedom Munitions to uh, my 9mm. I uh, got the crony set up. First time I used that. So I don't know if I actually get any live footage, but this is my this is my setup. Smith & Wesson Shield Blazer 115 grain full metal jacket. Last two rounds. Nine ninety three. There we go. Nine ninety three point six. Field XD. One thousand ninety three. One thousand eighty six. One thousand one twenty. Eleven thirty-four. Eleven thirty-two. Eleven thirty-two. Well, I just got back from the range and testing out some Freedom Munitions ammunition that I so I tried out two different loadings of of nine millimeter from Freedom Munitions. I tried out the uh, one hundred twenty-four grain round nose and the one hundred twenty-four grain XTP. Uh, ammunition ran ran well. I uh, had no issues in either my Glock 19 or my Smith & Wesson Shield. Uh, I did have one issue with the Springfield XD and I'm not exactly sure why or what happened but uh, it failed to uh, to fully feed one round. It, I tried it one more time in the same magazine though and I had the same issue. So I uh, I tried it in my shield, no issues with that particular round. So I'm not sure what was going on. Maybe I have a magazine issue with my XD. I'll have to investigate that a little bit more. But uh, no issues with the Freedom Munitions and either of the other guns. For comparison purposes, I also took out, um, I also shot some Blazer Brass, 115 grain full metal jacket, and the Agula, I think that's how you say it, Ag Agula, 124 grain full metal jacket and I did not have any issues with either of those rounds through any of the guns. Also ran uh, all these rounds over the chronograph so I'll show the results uh, here in the video as well. Um, just kinda wanted to see how it ran in the different guns, what kind of velocities I was getting and then also between the different rounds. Well just a brief word on accuracy before I get to the chronograph results. Uh, honest answer is I did not test accuracy. Uh, I just shot chronograph so you can see this is all shooting from a rest, three different handguns, um, four different uh, 9mm loads. This and another target look very similar. So taking a look at the uh, chronograph results from the Freedom Munitions uh, ammo here. Uh, the shield, you can see 124 grain round nose averaged 1038, um, about 1039 feet per second. XD, as you would expect, a little bit faster, 1089, and then through the Glock 
somewhere in the neighborhood, and I did two sets of five there, around 1,086, 1,089 uh, feet per second. Uh, for 124 grain round nose, if you compare that to the Aguilar, Shield was right around 999, and XD about 1,097, and the Glock about 1,078. So through the Glock they were about the same. The XD was a little fast, faster with the Aguilar, and the shield was a little faster with the Freedom Munitions. As far as spread, um, so depending on what you're looking at, the Glock is around 48 or 21, depending on which batch, about 32 with the shield. Uh, compared to Aguilar, very similar numbers, so very, very close. Uh, standard deviation, um, it's a little bit tighter with the um, shield with the Freedom. One thing you'll notice is the, with the XTP, the Freedom Munitions XTP, is that the velocity, 124 grain again, but uh, the XTP bullet, they definitely load this a little bit faster. So it's about 50 feet per second faster, or even more, with the shield at 1,085 feet per second. The XD was faster at 1,155 compared to 1,089, so about, again about 70 feet per second faster and the Glock was faster at 1,132. Um, again, about another 50 feet per second uh, with the XTP loading of the Freedom Munitions. Uh, and then I also shot some Blazer today. You can see the numbers there. All in all, you know, I was really impressed actually by the XTP loading. Definitely seems like they load that for defense, being that it's hotter, being that the spread was, was lower, and the standard deviation is better. So I think overall performance-wise, that XTP loading is really nice. And the round nose loading is fine for everyday use. All in all, so far so good with the Freedom Munitions. I have more to shoot, so I can do an update on that. I also have different calibers to shoot. This was just my 9mm comparison. Hope you enjoyed the video, YouTube.